So just disclaimer, uh, don't pay attention to the fan if the audio is picking it up. It's just really, really hot in my room. So hopefully the audio is not getting too messed up. But if you hear it in the background, I apologize. Uh, with that being said, what's up guys? It's CJ here, coming back with another video. Um, and I, want, I didn't want to just do another vlog. So today I actually wanted to film something that I kind of watch on YouTube a lot and it's a hype beast room tour. When I think of a bedroom specifically like, or the definition of one, I feel like it should be or is an extension of who you are as a person. You know what I'm saying? So for example, if you come to my room, everything you see is like my interests or things that are, that mean something to me. It's all filled. Everything that you see makes up who I am as a person. Everything you see in the video that I kind of want to emphasize is you don't have to spend a lot of money to make your room look dope. I don't even think I spent even over a hundred dollars on some of the things that I have here. To be honest, a lot of stuff is like makeshift things like from things I found around the house or ordered online that wasn't too expensive so if you get an idea or inspiration from seeing my room of how you want to maybe make your room look in any way there's always cheaper alternatives so always think about that you don't have to pay a lot of money to get the aesthetic <laughs> that's something that I don't want to do like specifically so if you don't want to do that either keep that in mind but yeah with that being said hopefully you guys enjoy the video and let's get started so when you first walk into my room, the first thing you'll see is this clothing rack right here. Well, I think that a clothing rack is definitely a dope way to display your more notable clothing if you wanted to do that. So I keep all my more expensive clothing on this rack from t-shirts to crew necks, moving into hoodies, and then jackets or outerwear. It comes with a shoe rack as well so I don't have to separate the two I can keep them all in one organized place so the next thing is this white Ikea shelf I honestly had this for years I don't remember how much it was but I don't think it's more than maybe 70 bucks or that's how much you can find them for this is where I keep more of like my basic stuff so from like this is like shirts I wear to the gym, people like my deodorant, my cologne, facial moisturizer, lotion, lint roller, stuff like that. All my pants that I wear from my cargos to my denim, track pants and sweatpants, hoodies that I just want to throw on if it's cold out, basic tees, all my basketball shorts and just that's honestly some uh, dress up clothing that I have when I go to work. And I also use this shelf as a way to display all of my pop figures. And all the pop figures I have are from shows I watch or um, athletes that I enjoy. So from, even though I'm from Boston, Kyrie, that's my guy, Michael Jordan, LeBron, from Pokemon, to Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, My Hero Academia, Tokyo Ghoul, so on and so forth. This is my desk setup. Nothing too flashy, nothing too crazy. Um, just honestly a black desk from Ikea again. I think it was like 60 bucks or so. I'm getting these prices wrong, I'm sorry, but you I mean, you can find cheap desks like this anywhere. So I always recommend Ikea because they always have kind of like the best aesthetic and for a cheap price. But yeah, this is my laptop right here where I do all my editing, all my homework, all that stuff. This is a wireless charging pad I got from Apple. It's right there. It's charging. It starts charging. Google Home Mini. This is my PS4. Honestly, this 
Kith cup I got at Kith in New York. I keep quarters in it. And these are like Supreme parachute guys. And there's some Supreme pins in there. Always gotta keep my water ball next to me because I always drink a lot of water. And this time, always gotta keep the hand sanitizer on deck, bro. Uh, this is honestly where I just keep my wallet, my AirPods, and my keys. It's honestly this Burberry box. I think it was my mom's and she's kept in my closet and I was like, kind of need a place to put all my stuff. So I just kind of threw it there. Louis Vuitton boxes, keep all my jewelry in these. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy. As right next to my desk is this bookshelf I got honestly from Ikea again. I go to Ikea for a lot of my stuff, so definitely recommend checking that out. I think I paid like 50 bucks or 40 bucks for this. Um, I just use it as a, kind of a way to display other stuff and to keep next to my desk because if I didn't have this here, it'd just be an open space. So I thought it'd be pretty dope. Also, kind of mentioned like on my walls too. I like to put um, bags that I have that are pretty dope to hang. So this is a Subi tote bag I got in New York that came with a pair of pants. This is a Bape shopping bag. I hang like uh, keychains and stuff on it. OVO bag, cause I got, I got this with my OVO Marikami t-shirt as a gift. And this is a Supreme towel I got a couple years ago for like 50 bucks. Behind all this stuff is like an Atmos tote bag when I was in Japan. But yeah, just kind of making up the whole bookshelf to, that I filled with. This is a Cause Uniqlo tote bag I got from Calvin, my sister's boyfriend. Kakashi, if you watch Naruto, it's one of the goats right here, bro. Uh, my cousin Kevin got this for me in San Francisco. Off-white Evian water bottle, got this for Christmas. Bear Brick Funko Pop cereal box, it came with this little Bear Brick. Uh, got this in New York at Toy Tokyo. Travis Scott Reese's Puffs cereal box. It's just back there, you can't really see it, but it is what it is. Supreme Lantern. This is actually a cause holiday card I got for Christmas and I decided to put it into a picture frame. I think this would be dope to display and it honestly fit perfectly, so fake plant, <laughs> nothing really crazy. This is a kith box that actually had that cup in it. These are some old transformers I had because I used to collect like transformers from like um, the 80s. My cousin got me into that, so I had like a couple still that were dope cars, so I thought why not. This is a Hype Beast Mania magazine. I'm still looking for the other two covers, but I got this one at Kith uh, last time I was there for like 28 bucks or something like that, or maybe 35, one of the two, but. Going into anime again, some old Dragon Ball Z VHS tapes I have. Uh, this is a Funko Pop like pack I got with uh, Trunks. If you know who Trunks is from Dragon Ball Z, he came in a special package and this is what it came with. This was a Goku statue figure I got for Christmas. And the trunks thing came with an inflatable uh, Dragon Ball. So this is kind of like behind my door. That's where I keep my backpack. This is actually an APC and Carhartt backpack. A uh, little basketball hoop. When I'm bored, I shoot around on it. And if you notice, a lot of the stuff that is hanging, I just use thumbtacks. So they're all held together from thumbtacks. So like I said, you don't need to spend a lot of money to hang any of this stuff. You just some thumbtacks put into a wall and you're good. This is a Complex Con Murakami towel I got in LA. This is my bed. I need a new bed frame. As you can see from like the color, it's brown and then everything else is like black, 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 black. I mean, these are white, but this is an old bed frame I just never got rid of. I actually have the off-white ikea covers on it these are commando shelves i got off amazon for 15 bucks so i thought it was a dope way to display some things so i have these baby jordan ones from breads chicago's that's a cause book i got from moma it was like 50 bucks these are all chinese new year uh red envelopes and like hype beast did like special editions to where so they have Stone Island, 
Fragment, and Mastermind Japan. Shadow Backboard ones, Royal ones. Next to the towel, this is a Bread One painting. You can probably find this on Amazon or something like that, or Etsy for like 20 bucks. This is a Naruto painting I got for my birthday. Um, this was hand drawn and then painted. Shout out to you who made me this. Really special, holds a special place in my heart, so never get rid of any of that stuff. Love it. Might as well just run through my clothing rack, because uh, if you know me, you know I'm into sneakers, you know I'm into clothing. So I thought, why not just show it really quick? I'm not gonna spend too much time. CDGT, vintage Michael Jordan t-shirt, Carhartt work in progress t-shirt. This is a new pickup, Carhartt work in progress. Love it, another Carhartt. If you know me, I wear a lot of Carhartt. It's good quality, it's comfortable, it's dope, so. This is a Carhartt and Bodega collab tee, Young and Dangerous. 777, Young Danger on the back. Nike Olivia Kim, Stone Island T. OVO Murakami t-shirt. I actually got this for Christmas. Love this t-shirt, don't wear it a lot because I don't want to ruin it, but shout out to you. <laughs> Burberry crew neck, washed gray crew neck I got for like 10 bucks at this random store at the mall. This is a Stone Island crew neck. Stone Island gray hoodie. Blackstone Island hoodie, Olivia Kim Nike hoodie, Gray Momo hoodie, a black utility vest I got in Toronto, black denim jacket, this is from Madewell. This is an Urban Outfitters tactical jacket. I got this for Christmas. Honestly, one of my favorite jackets too. I love this thing. Get a lot of compliments on it when I wear it too. The Carhartt workwear jacket I wear for the winter. North Face Supreme Fleece. All right, so now I'm gonna get into all my sneakers. Not gonna really spend too much time on them. Just gonna pull them out of the box or show them really quick and then that's pretty much it. Here are Asics 1090s. Love these. Pair of Vans, yellow laces. Shout out to ASAP Rocky. <laughs> that's so cringy. <laughs> CDG Converse. Got them when I was like a sophomore in high school. Nike Air Max 1 anniversaries. Got these in New York at opening ceremony. Nike 77 Blazers. Got these in New York. It's, uh, Diamond Dunks. Got those for Christmas. It's Nike Vimeros. I don't know if there's a photo. Yeah, Nike Vimeros. It's like my everyday sneakers. I love these. Acronym Prestos. Got these for Christmas, I believe. Nike Element 87s. Nike Flyknit trainers, the white Flyknit trainers. Just another pair of Flyknit trainers I don't wear. Jordan Black Cement 3s, Jordan Red 4s, Jordan Travis Scott 6s. These are honestly my first win on the sneak. I, I, is it focusing? Yeah, there it is. These are my first win on Nike sneakers that ever. So the day they released, uh, I was in class with my boy Marcos, shout out to Marcos. And we both entered for a size eight because we were the same size. And then we were chilling. We weren't supposed to be on our phones. We enter, a couple minutes go by. He looks down, says he won them. And I was like, oh, dude, if he won wins them, I'm not winning them because like he got all the luck. And then a couple minutes later, I look at my phone. It says I got them. I wanted to scream, but obviously I'm in class. So I was just like, bro, what? <laughs> like, that's insane. But yeah, I love these. I'm a big Travis Scott fan, so helps and yeah I'll never sell these royal ones shadow ones finally my favorite red ones if you know me you'll most likely see me in these like nine out of ten times these are my favorite sneakers in my collection I got a couple more sneakers actually coming in within the next I got one coming in on Friday so I'll probably do a uh, video on that just unboxing all my recent pickups including this t-shirt <laughs> I've been online shopping a lot it's pretty stupid but it's <sighs> nothing else to do even though I shouldn't be doing it <laughs> but yeah I got another pair of sneakers coming in on goat 
coming from GOAT, so stay tuned for that. I'll do a video on those as well. I'm really excited for those, so. Uh, I probably gotta wait like another week or two or something for it. That's all my sneakers, that's all my clothes. That was my room. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, give you guys some inspiration. If you like some of the stuff, if it helped you, if you wanted to design your room in a certain way, like I said, hopefully I save you some money um, with the cheaper alternatives I showed. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support, like I always say. Um, and I'll see you next time, so peace. Bang, yeah. That no complaints, uh, in parking lot, uh, smoking no stank, uh.